Howdy folks, it's Coffee and Tools. It's Thursday. I like to do new tools. I like to do Harbor Freight, DeWalt, I don't know, new tools, right? And we've been doing a lot of lasers and I uh, got some 3D printers coming in, some uh, a prototype one they tell me for November that should be really fascinating because it's a brand new machine from a company that's made them before, but it's like, this is a new one, you know? So I'm like, ah, I can't wait to get a hold of that. Meantime, uh, had something come in. The box is huge. So we're gonna back the camera off and pull this box. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, can you see me? <laughs> wow, yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's a big one. We're gonna get into this today, so uh, hey, hang out and see what we got here. <laughs> Well, I don't know if I like big boxes, but uh, this is from a company that sent me that CNC uh, high-speed router machine that we had uh, earlier this year, and they had talked about this thing, which I didn't know anything about, and they said, oh yeah, we, we'll we send this over to you. And I was like, well, no, I don't want it right now. So here it is. Yeah. So first thing she met, the gal was telling me about was the size of the uh, build plate thing or something here. It's it's right here it's oh man it's heavy and it's huge yeah okay this is the build plate she was telling me about <clears throat> all right mmm I got a smoke purifier so why would we need a smoke purifier I don't know we're gonna find out I guess also uh, down here another little box air assist I guess for the smoke purifier now, Comgro uh, is pretty serious about what they do and what they make, so uh, their CNC router, the high-speed router, is really a fantastic price, and the machine is pretty cool. It, it's just no joke. I mean, you, if you saw the review, it was pretty. It was a pretty neat machine. The uh, laser engraver cover. So, yeah. So, what else do we have in here? Well, we have a laser engraver, of course. Wow, okay, so that was what was in the box, was, was all, all of this stuff. Let's take a look at that build plate. That thing is huge and it's heavy. Must be a pretty nice build plate. Wow, I can't get over the size of this build plate and I'm really curious. I don't know if she gave me the size or the knot on this or not. I thought she did, but yeah. Wow, okay, there's no dimensional sizes written on this, so we really, and it's heavy. And same, oh wow. Oh man. Yep, that's a big one. That thing's huge. I don't know if the laser's that big. Uh, but I'm gonna do a, we're gonna have to find a big project to go with it, right? <laughs> I got an idea. Yeah. <laughs> this is not like any of the other ones I've seen. This one's a little different again. It has a very heavy aluminum sheet on the back side, and I've got the honeycomb, of course, and there looks like there's some plastic wrapping here. I think we're gonna leave that on, at least for the time being, because I like the plate to be held by the honeycomb, which uh, one of the companies we had in here a while back did not have that, and it was kind of a matter of why I ended up taping it so I you know, could hold it. But yeah, wow, that's the honeycomb. And like I said, I think it's 500 millimeters, something like that, by 500. It's it's huge. Well, I'll have to measure it and figure it all out. But meantime, we'll get this box, one down, right? Let's get this box out of here. Well, the next box we're gonna open up, and again, I'm gonna try to make this quick for everybody. Uh, let's get the box open, of course, and we'll take a quick look, and then I'll assemble this, because again, it's just, it's a laser. And this is the Comgro, as you can see on the box here, the Comgro. Z1, which is the laser engraver, and of course you can, we'll cut some wood with it. <laughs> you know it, I know it. So, packed like pretty good with, yep, the nice heavy foam and everything. Wow, it's pretty. Look at that thing. <laughs> that is pretty. Anyways, I'll uh, pull all this out, and we'll take a quick look at what's in what was in this box, and then we'll, we'll get it together. Wow, we're completely unpacked uh, for the, at least the laser, and the first thing I got to point out is 
this company right here, Comgrow, they've only been around since like 2017, but they're very passionate about whatever they build. And this one here has something new on it. I have never seen this before. So again, this sort of, you know, tells you, you know, these people are pretty serious about what they're doing. The uh, Y axis, has two stepper motors. I have never seen that. They always run a shaft between here and just run one stepper motor, which is, uh, you know, probably gets away with it. But this one has two stepper motors, which will probably increase its accuracy. Plus, you have your usual stepper motor, of course, up here that's going to run the uh, X axis for the laser itself. And also, the feet have the little, you know, rubber uh, pieces on them. The assembly looks pretty basic, pretty you know, pretty standard, typical laser to uh, put together. We've got a nice you know laser uh, printer, the tools, the laser itself, a little power brick of course, and here's the uh, control package right here that we'll be plugging into to uh, operate this with. You can. Uh, there's an open source that they supply with this if you have a uh, PC that you can run this with with their software. I have an Apple or Mac and I'll be running uh, Lightburn when we get to that point. But right now I'm just looking at all the goodies. Here's your basic pack of hardware here. There's not a lot because you don't need that much. There's a little bit of assembly like I said required, not that much. But uh, yeah, the finish is beautiful and Comgrow, uh, like I said, they are very passionate about you know, anything they build or whatever they're doing. And there's a nice manual that comes with it. And we've gone through the packing list to make sure, you know, we have everything with us. Uh, this laser is 10 watt, up to 10 watt, by the way, at 45, I think it was, uh, millimeter. The working area is 400 by 400. That uh, work plate that they sent me that we just saw earlier is bigger than that. Yeah, I'm, the laser will actually sit on the whole thing, but that's still, hey, it's cool, you know? But we'll come back to all that. Let's get this assembled so we can see what this is going to look like. Well, we're fully assembled. Now, obviously, I just ran off a quick test. The uh, assembly was about the same as everybody else's, but I'm going to say that you should allow yourself at least a half hour to a, maybe even a full hour to be very selective, very careful, and put this together. There's not a lot involved. Obviously, four screws putting the four corners together, mount the bridge up on top, pull, pull the belts through, and lock them. When you lock these belts, you use little square nuts that come with the kit. Again, a little different, but you know, that's what happens. The uh, wiring here, the first wire is the power, um, the other one is the laser. So when you put these together, make sure you've got these two connectors in the right place. There's also a few connections to the stepper motors that have to be put in, but again, not a big deal. Plus your uh, stop limit over here, you have, a st yeah, you have two hard stop limits, which is really a good thing. I'm just going to pull this, see if I can pull this out of the way or not. Yeah, I can. There we go. Uh, so I'm going to provide a link in the description below for where you can find the Comgrow assembly uh, instructions. It's a video that puts this together. It's a good, clean, clear video, very concise. You can't go wrong with it, I don't think. So uh, we'll, you know, just put that in there. That way you don't have to struggle uh, at all. Now, the only thing that I did have a problem with was Normally all these machines, the darn hard limit's always over here. It's over here and it's underneath the track right here. So when you put this together, your hard limit's over on this side and underneath. So it's just, you know, location was different again. You know, a couple of quick features to notice here too. Uh, there's an incredible amount of adjustment for the height of this laser. They really thought this out and they give you a great big long slot and there is one, two, three, four, five screw areas where the screws can come in to support the laser. Of course, this is magnetic, nothing new, but this shield helps to protect your eyes and you know anybody else from the laser. But again, use the goggles. You know, that's not the end of all ends, that right there. The control pack is really simple, on and off power, and of course you have a printer plug, so no big, no big deal there. But I really like the laser adjustment. It's probably about the best one I think I've ever seen as far as uh, setting up the laser on this part goes, because you have a lot of range of height, and that's really a key thing when it comes to using this. Let's get the plate underneath and see how that looks. Wow, this is uh, with the work table that comes from Comgrove. It's the honeycomb aluminum to protect your table or whatever you're doing while you're running a laser. And it is, uh, uh, it's, I knew it was big. It is so big. Look at this. The, la <laughs> the laser is barely sitting on the frame 
uh, of this thing. It's it's a huge work area. They really kind of, I don't know, they, they went overboard with it, but it's still cool because you've got this great big work table uh, underneath you now, which is protecting everything. That is great. And then they also supply a pile, a nice size square, a uh, bunch of these basswood uh, samples that you can run, you know, it could run some, uh, well, you could run some tests off or, you know, whatever you like. And that's a cool thing. This is a nice accessory. Again, we'll have links for the machine, for, for the honeycomb. We'll have links for everything. Today, I'm, I'm running out of time on this because we spent most of the day just going over the material, unboxing, obviously. There's a terrible smoke fume thing in my garage right now because of the, what I just did. And that's where we'll get into the smoke purifier. And also, we have an air assist. I'm not even sure how that deals with it. But we also have a laser engraver uh, cover for this machine. So, yeah, uh, I have yet to see how that works, but there's a cover to go with this thing. So, and again, also, Comgrove has been in the past, they've always been very, very price conscious. So, hopefully, I think that's what we'll be seeing here too is you have a really good price. For the size and the type of machine the capacity we have a scale here up on the top on the bridge we'll also have a scale here the separate uh drive motors or stepper motors on each side of this bridge really makes it sort of weird it's kind of different but uh just doing a quick uh, cut with something i've noticed the accuracy was uh just you know 0 0.01 of a millimeter accuracy it was like yeah it's as good as anybody's that i've seen so far so Next accessory, what should we get? I think we'll do the, uh, I think we'll pull the engraver cover out and have a look. So, let's see, the uh, next item, I've already started opening the box here a little bit, and there's gloves, I'm not sure why, but this is a funny, this is gonna be interesting because this is an enclosure to run this fully enclosed. So, uh, I'll tell you what, there's going to be a, some assembly acquired with this. We needed a video. We also need a video for the rest of the stuff. So, uh, because we've already run so much time, I'm thinking we should stop right here, right now. And Monday, we'll open this up and uh, assemble the uh, Comgrove enclosure, which, if you think about it, even if you don't have the Comgrove, you probably could buy this just to enclose whatever laser you have to control the smoke and, of course, increase safety and what have you. So we'll come back to this Monday. Uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching Coffee and Tools. <laughs> and please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell. We have a great giveaway at the end of the month for the uh, Enjoy Wood Laser. In the meantime, uh, Monday we'll see you, I hope, and uh, look in and we'll see what the rest of this, uh, all these accessories uh, go like. All right, I'm uh, out of here. Huh, overnight.